Misha Borisenko had only heard about tigers as a boy growing up in Moscow. It wasn't until he moved to eastern Russia that his passion for tigers developed. He felt at home in the rugged landscape of the forest and quickly became a very proficient wildlife tracker. Borisenko began working with American tiger researcher Linda Curley in 2000. They married later that year. Their research often requires overnight stays in the field, but this isn't your summer getaway camping trip. Their research takes place in some truly harsh conditions. After you arrive, you need to take care of the so-called trinity. These are firewood, water, and light. We used to have kerosene lamps. Now it's easier, as we have good flashlights. You need to bring water to cook with, and if there's snow up to your waist, it's not that easy. Then, firewood. If it's there, good. If it's not, you have to go to the woods and chop some up, bring it to the hut. Then there are some other basic needs that must be tended to as well. Usually, you would get to the hut rather late. And you still have to make some food. Dry your clothes and shoes, get the sleeping bag ready, Write down your observations, everything you have seen during the day. It's very difficult to write anything down in the field in wintertime. With an average winter temperature of 8 degrees Fahrenheit, believe it or not, these rugged conditions don't seem to bother Borisenko. In fact, he embraces the challenge. When you're in the forest, you start feeling a bit like an early man, being on your own and fending for yourself. That's something that appeals to me. That is why I research tigers. Curly has a bit of a different take on why the tiger research appeals to her. I've had a couple of close encounters where I was scared and thought, oh my god, what am I doing here in the forest? That's one of the reasons it's the work is interesting, too. I like the mystery and the danger of it, too. There's no doubt the work can be dangerous at times, but the rewards far outweigh the risk.